him starts to kind of come together a little more. Yeah, this Aethergast is obviously going to do a good job of keeping Eagle carry him, uh, you know, a little more alive, but there's a spell mm -hmm. piss, all right, sure. Pay for it, pay I guess. easy, easy deal. Okay, I still have enough mana to pay for this spell piss. What are you doing, man? I mean, yeah, sure, you're getting, you get the prowess triggers, but like, what's, what's the plan here? Oh. There it is. A the mystical dispute as well. Functional. <laughs> yeah, functional spell piss enough to get in for Xaxes. Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl! Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the, the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage. And we need the red source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know there it? There it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis, I've always maintained that magic is a very skill-testing mm. game indeed, and Charizard James is showing us just how skill-based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh, no. Oh. If this was the only way Tybalt Stricker had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended. Tybalt Stricker getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with a lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like if, it, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? <laughs> Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen, my opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then sported out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Valk Valkmir is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh my god. Did we do it? Yes. I attacked. Holy shit. I attacked. I attacked. I attacked. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attacked. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no. Okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> stop, opponent. Stop it. Please stop. Please stop. Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another... What is up, gamers? How's it going, my friends? Borkos is first in chat, beating out Riley by one millionth of a second. Riley, what's up? Scoop, what's up? Christmas. For rank HZ 2012. What's up? We're going to be brewing some new standard decks today. But today also, um, what's today actually? 
don't even know what today is. February 1st. It's a Tuesday. I have a very special plans after the stream. This is, is going to be... I'm going to go a little bit later than I usually do because I started a little bit late. What's up, Spice Lord? But at uh, 7 o'clock tonight, I'm going to be doing a, the podcast with Stratterstone. So if anybody doesn't know and you didn't see the last podcast that he did with uh, MTG Malone, I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me see if I can actually get it for you. Strider Stone, MTG Malone. Uh, podcast. I believe it was the last one that he did. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know if it was under the Strider Stone one or if it's under Sodium City. Maybe it's just under Sodium City. Whoops. You lost your sound? <clears throat> oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, the town it's called the town hall with Stratus from MTG Malone that was 13 days ago and there's also one with uh, I am boy hero and then I'm going to be on the town hall as well so if you let me see this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before My name is Strider, the mayor of Sodium City, and welcome back to the town hall. This time we got to sit down with MTG Malone. He's a YouTuber out of Germany. Super cool guy. So I hope you stay salty. Enjoy the video. Hello, MTG Malone. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. How are you, Strider Stone? I'm fantastic. Welcome to the town hall. And then they talk about a lot of stuff for like an hour and a half. So I'm going to be joining Strider Stone on that, which is uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, I must say. And I'm doing that tonight. And then, tomorrow, I'm going to be going to dinner with my fiancé for her birthday. So, tomorrow we're going to get some happy birthday Debbies in the chat. Happy birthday Debbies in the chat. Oh, and, and tomorrow, I'm going to be getting a haircut, so be on the lookout for haircut underscore James tomorrow. As you know, this hair is getting a little bit, uh, a little bit long, chat. A little bit long. Look at these little foxes, and they say hi to you and stuff. They're not going to get me to spend 3,000 gems. They're not going to get me to spend 3,000 gems. I promise you I'm not going to spend 3,000 gems. And I'm not closer and closer to it the longer and longer I look at these foxes. Daily deals. Chariot. Whoa. Zorin. Are they going to get me, chat? This They do this every time. They do this every time. Right before, look, look at look at this. Right before, um, like a new set comes out, they want you to use like all your all your money in the game. Do 
Joiner Bundle had one. I think that was a different kind of, of Soren skin, though. I like this Soren skin. Like, right before a new set comes out, they're like, okay, we're going to make them use all their gold. All right, Chariot, Blood Chief's Thirst, Adeline, Soren, all the meta cards are going in. And then you get the meta cards and you're like, dang it, I don't have any gold to buy packs with. <laughs> it's always a trap, Dad. It's always a trap. Because, like, you really want the Chariot, and you really want the Soren. At least I do. But then I realize, huh, if I pay 6,100 gold for those two cards, I'm not going to get six packs of Kamigawa. Chariot has a fancy skin. I don't like those fancy skins. I like these skins better. Because they have more continuity with the rest of my deck. Listen, if, if it's like 70% off, 80% off, 90% off, yeah, I'll get them. But like this, right before a new set comes out, heck no. Heck no. Wait, th speaking of that fancy skin of Chariot, let me double check. Nuno! Nuno's in the house, everybody, people, hey. This Chariot is what you're talking about. I like this art better. Like if this if if this was the art here, but it was shiny like this, I would love it. All right, chat. What deck are we building today? Do we have any... I need to double check to see if we have any deck submissions in the deck submission form. Maybe we do? Did I play these already? One sec. I did not play these decks yet. Historical access event. You can play five color Niv like my hero. Wait, Niv's your hero, right? That's, that's what you're saying? Niv Misery Born's the hero? Mono Black Aggro? I played like three Mono Black decks on my on my YouTube already. <laughs> so like, I need to take a break from the Mono Black. They do very well on YouTube, but like, dang.
All right, there's this deck here that I'm going to import into... Where's the copy into arena freaking thing? Hello? Have to sign in to tapped out. Did did Whiskey Mage actually uh, donate to the stream? The other day? Oh, let me double track. I know someone gifted subs on the day of my stream league. But is it Whiskey Mage? I'm pretty sure it was. Yes, Whiskey Mage did. That's because Model Block is king. I know. I think so. I think so, Scoop. I guess I can play James Niv deck, but it's best of one event. Probably the list needs a few adjustments. For best of one, I don't know. I, I still think it's fine in best of one because it has the sweepers. Like, it has, like, two deafening clarions, a uh, bunch of removal spells. I think it should be okay for best of one. Error importing deck. Why? 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 No! What is happening here? All right, I can't import it, unfortunately. Mardu Sacrifice. I guess I'll have to do it the hard way. Exodus. I Twitch. You think I know how to spell Twitch, right? Fireblade Charger. a lot of one drops oh there's no deadly disputes whoa hold on no deadly dispute I feel like that's like a Oh, you have to thing, right?
Oh, wait, there is Deadliest Mutant there already. Oh, I just missed it. All right, two mountain, two swamp. No planes. Huh. No planes. Interesting. But there's no three drops either. There should definitely be four copies of the, um, the, uh, what's that car called? Wedding? Even though this doesn't work with Exodus because it's not an instant of sorcery. Return a non-legendary creature from grave to hand. And the other side is the Wicked of Blood Avatar. As additional cost to cast, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. It costs two less to cast for each creature sacrifice. Uh, so if you sacrifice three creatures, it's two mana. Each opponent sacrifices a creature, create a 3-6 with haste, and whenever it attacks, it deals three damage. But I, I feel like this card is just like, you have to play that in this kind of deck, right? And the sideboard is environmental. Go blank. I feel like this deck could also use like Immersturn Predator. Graveyard Trespasser. Oh, it has it in the sideboard. I feel like Emerson Predator should just be in this main deck. Interesting. But like Goldspan's really good to have like a turn three like Chambling Gas Deadly Dispute play. But is Goldspan Dragon really what we want to be doing here? I can cut it to three. I really want to play this card. Especially since Exodus can bring this back out of the graveyard since it's not legendary. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe two culling ritual, Nuno. Creepy puppeteer for the memes to make it to make them all big. What what does that card do again? The whites are reach. No, the puppeteer's not good. I, the whites, I don't think the whites are reach. Like, splashing white for a, like, really powerful removal spell and Exodus to cast the other side anyway, because we're, we're usually going to be casting Awaken the Brill Avatar, Avatar, but using the white for this is is, is actually just necessary, right? And if you're playing white already to cast Exus on turn four, you might as well cast other cards um, that have white if they enact your game plan, right? Showdown of the Scalds can buff a lot of these creatures that might um, get scaled out in the late game, but it buffs them to like three threes and four fours and stuff. And then we have Mascot, Necrotic,
past. I don't ever see myself using two past summonings in a game, though. I can probably see myself using two necrotic rooms. Whether or not I'm using two pest summonings is a little bit a little bit uh iffy. Even this start from scratch is kind of kinda of iffy too. But it does kill chariot, which is important. I feel like Vanishing Verse is probably a card we should be playing. I'm going to cut a pest summoning for a vanishing verse. Then maybe I don't need the fireblade chargers or something. And like main a couple more vanishing verses. But since I'm playing like a creature sacrifice deck, I'm, I, I feel like I need this. Plus buffing this with showdown is relevant. Maybe we just go two right oblivions and one vanishing verse main deck. I feel like I kinda like that. Two swamp, two mountain. I don't even know if the two swamp two mountains correct. probably do a plane just in case we get Field of Ruin, right? No, we should probably do a one swamp, one mountain, one plains because of environmental sciences. And then the last card should be Just another dual land. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white. It is spicy nimble sloth. You want a bit of reach? I guess Goldspan Dragon is our reach. And and Emerson Predator, of course. Uh oh wait, we, we also have Exodus. Uh the uh Wicked the Blood Avatar's reach as well. Right? Doesn't this do damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um whenever it attacks, it deals three damage to each opponent. Yeah, this deck has reach with a Fireblade Charger too. Is Orcus good in the sideboard? Uh, probably. Oh yeah, there's no sweepers in this deck. Oh my gosh, there's no... Whoa. I just realized we're not playing... Okay, maybe we just cut all the gold spans. Do we really have a use for treasures? Like, really? Kind of do with the Rite of Oblivions? We do with Kalein also. Yeah, 
Yeah, meat, meat hook seems insane here. The fact that there's no meat hook is troubling. Guess I just do this then? And then cut one more card over here. Alright, what about this? It seems pretty good. Yeah, like I, I feel I feel like with the wedding announcement, Yadar, Delane, Fireblade Charger, Shambling Gas, I Twitch, all those cards being so prevalent in this deck, that Meat Hook will be just insane. Even though it's not an instant of sorcery for Exodus, but still. One thing with this deck is, is there's only 20 lands in here. Which is troubling. So we should probably change out this Vanishing Verse for a Hagger Mulling. Or just like another basic swamp. I'm going for a second swamp. I showed unnecessary to dispute the deck? Yes. We have so many cards that do nothing, like, towards the late game. I Twitch, Shambling Gas, Fireblade, Jadar, Blaine. Like, we have, like, really bad top decks. We're gonna need to, like, keep the cards flowing, for sure. Like, as, as soon as we're top decking, we're probably just losing. And with, uh, with Showdown in the deck, 
it gives us the ability to not lose in those situations. Especially buffing our little creatures. Since we're playing Kalein in Deadly Dispute, we could, like, technically play, you know, Test of Talents in the sideboard or something, but that's pushing it. Wait. This swamp should definitely just be a... All right, right? I'm not trying to to like not ever cast my spells here. All right, one, two, three, plus eight is eleven. Fifteen, twenty-two lands. Okay, I'm I'm, a little, I'm more excited about twenty-two lands in like twenty or nineteen than it was before. All right, going first to Salomon Grace versus Exodia really is easy mode, is it though? I mean, I guess you have a counter spell, right? Hazmat, five months, one more month. I am month. cool, a jammer. One more month until you become a Charmeleon jammer. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why don't people spam cat jam in this chat? Because we're li we're literally jammers. Jammers equal jammers, right? Why isn't that a thing? Come on, chat. Do we watch Twitch all the time or do we not watch Twitch all the time? Are we cat jamers or are we not cat jamers? Come on. Give me a break. What are we doing here? Cut me some slack. Yes, that should be a thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm adding it. Jamer. Cat Jam. Er. Exclamation point. Jammer. Cat Jam. Er. Command. Exclamation point. Jamers Cat Jam Hers Let's freaking go Exclamation point Jamer in the chat Only if you're a jammer, though. non jammer is not allowed. Background sound is grim. Wait, what do you mean? Well, it's grim because that's just the background sound of Arena. Is it that noticeable? I can barely hear it on my end. All right, so let's get into it. What's up, Jamers? Today we have a magnificent deck. Today we have a Mardu Sacrifice. 
And if you like sacrifice decks, you will absolutely love this deck because we get to play one of the best sacrifice cards that's never utilized, in my opinion. It's Exus Auric Overlord. It's a four mana two four with double strike, Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, return a non-legendary creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And the other side we're going to be utilizing a little bit more often is Awaken the Blood Avatar. It's an eight mana sorcery. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. It costs two less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. We're going to be sacrificing three creatures and having a two mana Awaken the Blood Avatar. It makes a three six black and red avatar creature token with haste. And whenever this creature attacks, it deals three damage to each opponent. So we're going to be doing some crazy damage with Awaken the Blood Avatar, sacrificing our Fireblade Chargers, Shambling Gas, Eye Twitch, Decay Zombies, Kalein. And the cool thing about Extus is that if we sacrifice a treasure to cast this with Kalein on the board on turn three, this is a 3-5 double strike, which is pretty good. A couple of copies of Meat Hook Massacre in here to sweep up some things and deal some late points of damage. Wedding Announcement, one of my favorite cards in Standard. Makes a 1-1 a couple times. You can draw cards with it. It buffs your team. And buffing really little things is also really good. Speaking of buffing little things, we can also do that with Showdown of the Skulls, giving them plus one, plus one counters. And this also get, lets us have a little bit more card advantage throughout the game. A couple Immersed Predators, because this card's almost unstoppable for a lot of decks. Another Immersed Predator in the sideboard. Feel free to play around with cards in the sideboard if you are a best of one player. Put them in your main deck. Put them back out these and think of our think of the sideboard in here if you're a best of one player as cards you could play in your main deck and still be really really good for best of one so without further ado please leave a like to have to help this reach out to more people if you like the content make sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more in the future and it all starts right now Let's freaking go! Can you get lessons from the bottom part of the sideboard in best of three? No. Wait, in best of three? Yes. You been curious if there's a decent green white X tokens deck using announcement, chariot, maybe some of the angel stuff, etc. Oh, you're a sub. You get a free deck submission. Submit it in the submit it in the uh, in the Google form in my Discord. Nimble, you, 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 I think you have one this month. If not, if you, if you already use one this month, then I can understand. Like a key in a lock, right? All right. I like this ad. Jambling Gas first, just in case we draw Deadly Dispute for turn. Please draw Deadly Dispute. That's not a dispute. But it's an Allenbach Escort, so we should have like an okay matchup here. Do we go do we wait for showdown next turn or do we go I Twitch as a 2-2 this turn? That's an interesting, interesting thing here. Well, first things first, we're definitely attacking. Huh. Are you playing I Twitch as a 2-2? Two -two? Then we can't really do anything next turn. I think I'd rather cast Showdown next turn. And just in case we draw Emerson Predator or Exodus, I kind of want to do that instead. Oh, Escort with Lunark is really strong. Aha! Emmer Sturm Predator, here we freaking go. Oh, it's red mana. Elite Spellbinder. Yep. They take one of my showdowns, but you can't take the second one. All right, so I can sacrifice Shambling Gas to put up to give minus one minus one to Elite Spellbinder, or Alumbach Escort. 
but maybe I do the Allenbach Escort since Elite Spellbinder. All right now I do it. Sacrifice the gas. Minus one, minus one to Spellbinder. And then unfortunately they're going to get in with the creatures here. But it's okay. I can definitely race with Predator. Um, the problem with playing against this deck is they definitely have cards like... Skyclave Apparition that can cleanly deal with Immister. Huh. That's a good one, actually. I can do that and then sacrifice the Fireblade Charger to kill the Allenbach Escort. Is there Orcus in the sideboard? That's definitely a card that we could consider playing. And it might be a card that we eventually put in. They might actually be dead. Fireblade or Eye Twitch? I don't know. Fireblade kills the Allenbach. I'll go for it. Ooh. Okay. The Luminarch Aspirant can target Halana and Elena. And then that can give something else even more. And it does have reach. So they can go boom and then Aspirant, Aspirant give Halana a counter, and then Halana can give Escort three counters. So they're not doing that. Right, I'm going to do Immersturm Predator now so they can't give Holana and Elena indestructible, I guess. No, I'm going to do it during blocks, I think. They can give Luminarch Aspirant, Aspirant lifelink with the Allenbach Escort, so when they do that, I can just sack the Charger. So even if they give it lifelink, it's not gonna they're not actually gonna gain life. Shambling gas. They might actually have an answer to, to Ember Storm, so they're just not going to block. So I play this. I can sacrifice an end cast eye twitch as a 2 2 flyer. Seems good. All right. Unfortunately, that I only have three lands here, so I'm not able to cast Showdown, but Mr. and Predator might take the, go the distance. Uh, in a three-color deck for the opponent, I'd be surprised if they played... if they played... Uh, Apparition in the main deck. Intrepid Adversary. That's a lifelinker. Oh my gosh. Whoa, they... Hello? Okay, so they have a removal spell. Like, they have a, um... Valor Stance, right? They have to? Spell Pierce coming back in standard. Wow. Interesting.
I think I'm going with Necrotic Fumes. Because if I draw a Black Source, they die. Okay, if I draw a Black Source, they still die. That's a white mana! Crap. That's unfortunate. I guess the Halana and Alana has to die then. We we had we had the game if we drew a black mana. Oh my gosh, another one. Okay, okay. So if we draw a black mana again, we win. So I like the fact that we can dodge the lifelink here, but we're we're gonna need we're gonna have one turn to draw a black source. Right? Oh wait, no, we don't win because we can't sacrifice to any creature. Crap. So how do we win this game then? Gosh, that's so unfortunate. Not drawing black mana this entire game. How do we win this? What what what's our out? Our out is drawing Right of Oblivion. No, I mean we can draw that, but it doesn't really do anything. Huh. We have to block or else we die. Wow. <laughs> wow, the, the game is just trolling us. We needed that literally last turn. And we would have won the game. Crap, man. We can't win. Right? Because Alana has random reach. I mean, with the cards that we had available to us, I think we played it correctly. I'm going to concede before they see the rest of our cards. Wow, that sucked. Plus, they had a second Helana in Elena. We'll take the jar out because it can't block. Dang it, man.
It's a mulligan? I'm gonna keep this. It's probably a mulligan, but but I, if I draw one other creature, I can cast Blood Avatar on turn four. Gosh, that last game was so unfortunate. Like, yeah, and Mr. Predator almost soloed the whole thing. But... And we did miss land drops like four turns in a row. <laughs> but still, even to miss land drops four turns in a row, it was still a really... Like, really, really close. <laughs> then I go from drought to flood. Uh, Redain. Well, that kind of hurts my blood avatar, doesn't it? I guess I could just cast Exus. Exus as a 2-4. But they could have, like, removal spells and stuff for this. Yikes. Can you stop drawing Helana in Atlanta, please? That'd be great. Alright, so as long as there's not another Raidane that comes down, I can cast Exus next turn. Crap. And they can just sacrifice a 1-1 or an Alambach. Gosh, how greedy do you have to get to play a double white card on turn 3 in a 3-color deck? I guess I guess the mana is like really good right now in standard. Gosh, I just wish I had a vanishing verse here or something. Like this is not going to do anything here. You just sacrifice the random 1-1 one -one they made off Adeline and then attack me. I mean, at, le at least it's a 3-6. I mean, it's a 4-7, I guess. But Adeline is going to have 7 power. So if they deal with my 2-2, two -two, I'm going to be in like a lot of trouble. They might even have 9 power. Brutal Cathar. Of course they have it. Wow. Wow. I mean, where, where are my Meat Hook Massacres? Where are my removal spells? Oh my gosh, just major, just uber flood. I 
I mean, I'm only playing 22 lands in this deck. Gosh, why do I draw so many lands? Like, I, I feel like it's just me. Is it just me? Like, I even started watching Jaffer's stream last night, or, or I, th I believe it was, and then he just started flooding out. Alright, so I'm getting Kalein and Shambling Gas. I don't know if it's ever correct to do this or if it's just correct to not play the Shambling Gas because I have so many 4 drops. And before I draw a 4 drop. Fine though. Do I actually next level and kill this ambitious farm hand because they could have a um Yeah, yeah. It's a sorcery speed right of oblivion, isn't it? I guess I could have used it in response to Rider of Oblivion, but like I'd rather I'd much rather them just not cast it. Welcoming. Another land. I I don't understand. I know you can't respond to right. I wasn't going to respond to the right by killing the opponent's monster. I was going to respond to right with whatever they targeted and sacrifice it. You will serve me well. Another land. You have to be kidding me.
Alright, does this mean they have another welcoming vampire? Maybe? Card on top must be a, a lot of mana. Very well. What 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 could it be if they didn't draw it? What is it like a Marius call? Uh, maybe Agadine's Awakening. What like what what mana value of a card would they not actually want to draw? Maybe, maybe they just don't want to reveal it to me. I like the fact that I can kill Soren without using any any cards in my hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got a job to do. Interesting that oh, that's the card that was on top. So kind of definitely pluses, right? I mean, Kaya could minus and target my 1-1 one -one to make my Necrotic Fumes not do anything, but I could just cast any other creature, so, like, yeah. Plus on Eyetwitch. Attack with the 2-3. That's a really powerful draw. I just need to make sure I don't die. Oh, you know what? I could have cast Auric first. So I'm going to do that next turn. 
I'm gonna go Extus and then right Oblivion, and then I'm gonna add back like I Twitch. Oh no! Wait, why would they cast that when I have a right of Oblivion in my graveyard? They don't want me to Oblivion the wedding announcement, I guess. They're gonna draw a card. Another land. Okay. Oh, I can't get coin because it says non legendary. Like, they could have their own. Okay, Infernal Grasp. Welcoming. Alright, my best draw is another Auric, I guess. That's a good draw. I'm one minute off from doing both of the other ones. I might still be dead. I'm I'm not I'm not that on board, right? No, I think I'm dead to the cave, right? I don't know where my meat hooks are. I don't know why I keep drawing land for turn when I'm in a 22 land deck.
Wow. Wow. All right, deadly dispute off the top. Deadly dispute, deadly dispute, deadly dispute. Yikes. I don't even have white mana. Oh, there we go. All right, we got out of a mold of four. More lands. All right, I used all of my cards available besides the hive. Double wedding. So basically the opponent's deck is the same one as Alchemy without the uh, Blood Artist card. If right was instant speed, it would be insane. I'm doing. I did that just so if they want to block, they have to get rid of their entire board. If they want to kill this Kalein.
Just like we planned, chat. Just like we planned. Unfortunately, they're super far ahead. We did mulligan to four, though. We're at 22 life. We have uh, six lands in play. We have a meat hook. They're super ahead on card advantage, but yeah, we no longer have a meat hook. They're super ahead on card advantage because, you know, we did Moldafor. They got a draw off of Wedding uh, Festivity, and they also dr got a draw off of... Off of um, wherever that card is, Welcoming Vampire. We drew a Wedding Announcement, which was pretty good. I think this turn I just want to get rid of their right of living in the graveyard, though. Because that thing can deal with my wedding announcement. So, we didn't have to use a card to do that. We got rid of one of their cards. Now, we just need to not die. Agadim. Blood for knowledge. A fair trade. What's in their grave? They can Agadim like Oh they they played it uh tap. They got necrotic uh confront the past so they can bring back Soren after it dies. I think I like playing Wedding Announcement here because it might prompt them to play Reduced Memory. Maybe. And if they do, I get a 3-2 that I can sacrifice for a Mr. Predator. And I don't want to cast that when they have that card in their hand anyway. Alright, Meat Hook. Meat Hook for four. Land. Alright, that's at least an indestructible blocker, and I get one more 1-1. One, one. Although, they can just get rid of it with Necrotic Fumes. Wow, another another creature. They're really playing into Meat Hook Massacre. I don't know, if I was the opponent, I wouldn't be, be, be making any more creatures. Because, like, right now is enough to win the game anyway. They got rid of their flyer to do that? Surprised. Alright, so if the plan is to draw Meat Hook Massacre, then... We just block one of these. Because if they don't play a creature post-combat, we can attack the Soren with our 1-1, one -one and then Meat Hook the board.
So this at least makes them play a creature to jump block if they don't want Zorin to die. That is a Vanishing Verse. So I animate Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and I block the 5-5, five five, and then I Vanishing Verse the 3-4, and then I still die. Huh. Let's try welcoming Vampire out. You look like you're about to cry? Yeah, I'm good. You okay, bro? All four bright climbs. I have drawn back-to-back -back lands when I kept the five lander. What do you mean, Tool? Are you kidding me? Three lands in a row. Alright, that's more freaking like it. What are you trying to link to, old? All right, what do, we, what, do we, what do we die to? Like, what what are they gonna what are they gonna play? I, mean, I guess. I guess they're trying to play Goldspan or something.
Why would they be playing Glacial Floodplain? As a snow land, a snow tapped land. When it could just be a pathway. Alright, how you do it is go to my Discord and go to the deck deck submission and then submit a deck. Alright, um, what do I do here? Attack first. Two two eye twitch. I'm playing everything here because like they might want to play like burn down the house. Um or on my turn, but if they do that, then I make a treasure, I search a card off Eye Twitch, I gain a couple life, and I still have Hive of the Eye Tyrant. <laughs> Lorehold Command. Oh, oh, they're a Villamachus deck. So they're going to go land Villamachus? Yep. Okay. God, another another little hole command. Alright, please don't cast another Velomachus Lorehold. Mordenkainen. Whoa. Oh, look. Make an 8-8. Eight, eight. I can barely not kill this Borden Kynan. Like, I can kill it with the Rival Blooming, but do I really want to do that? Probably.
I guess I can do this. I think that was my best play. All right, now what do they have? All right, so they do play Goldspan. Wouldn't be surprised if there was some salt cuttings in their deck, though. They use another removal spell on this, which is okay. It gets it out of their hand. Windfall. Wow. I mean, I expected them to play that card too, but... I, now I want them to use their treasures to remove my hive. Perfect. Oh, wow. And I get to draw a card? Deal. Wow, that worked out. That was, like, insane for me. Oh, no, no. So they can use Dragon's Fire, Fateful Absence, and that's it. Where are my ecstasies? <laughs> oh, Valor Stance. They had that too. Oh, yikes. Okay. This lore hold command actually kills me if I don't block something. Ooh, showdown. Okay. Okay, so I'm dead to their fateful absence because they can use it twice. Fading hope. Lear's too good.
This card probably isn't good against control. Ooh, no white mana, but I think I like the Shambling Ghast and the Goblink. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, getting in for Demouge. I like. Eventually, I'm going to have to draw some white mana, but it is what it is right now. Aha, it's white mana. You, you love to see it. We're going in. We are going in. Fateful absence. I'm going to get in. I'm going to go this, this, draw a card. Uh-huh. Hold up, Vanishing Verse, I guess. I don't know what they could have that could, that could be Vanishing Verse this turn, but it is what it is. Could be unexpected windfall. Hit him for two. I think I'm going to go blank this turn because if they go windfall into Leer, they can cast they can start casting stuff. They had the they actually had the windfall. They could go windfall Leer again, so I'll hold up vanishing verse. Yup. No, they, they killed us with Leer last game, you know. All right, Lear can cast Expressive Iteration out of the Graveyard, but I don't think they want to do that. Um, maybe they just pass or hold up Lore Hold Command? Oh, the game you did yesterday. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. My go. I wish we had, like, a Paladin class or something. I'm just going to keep putting creatures on board. Two two I twitch. Yeah, Naya seems pretty good against Mono Green. You have like all the all the creatures like Brutal Cathar and things like that against Mono Green. Unexpected windfall again. You'll love and hate to see it. That's three windfalls already in the top like sixteen cards. Must be nice.
All right, Vanishing Rose can get rid of this later. Search for Glory. Oh, that's why they're playing Snowlands. But what snow cards are they playing? Frostbite? Snow permanent card. Oh, or any legendary. Oh. Oh. It searches for a sweeper and it and it gains um a life or two. And then it can also search for Lavellamachus Lorehold. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Sunset. Welcoming. Do I give them the double block on the 3 2? I don't think so, because if I do, then they feel like they're free to attack with the hall. And I don't want them to attack with the hall, even though I have Vanishing Verse, because I want to save Vanishing Verse for Leer or Hallbreaker Horror. So they have Fading Hope in the graveyard, so my Vanishing Verse doesn't matter, of course. Make them Fading Hope. Why in the world it used all my white mana for that? I will never understand. Predator. Yes. It's a big old predator. Uh, they can go Leer into, like, Sunset. A bounce spell. Wow. Showdown. Oh. Wow. Land plus Emerson. How about four lands? Do we like four lands?
Alright, I'll take a Soul Shatter, I guess. But, like, that's all I have now. <laughs> I drew six cards this turn and drew five lands. Or four, four lands, a Dispute, and a Soul Shatter. We are running... We are running like the sun for lands today. It is crazy. How's it going, Mike? Alright, so Soul Shatter on Leer. Alright, I'm gonna do this now before they draw Fading Hope. That last card enhanced Fading Hope? Okay, cool. I don't get to cry. So now they go Expressive Iteration and try to get another Leer. Oh, I have a lot of cool cards to play on my next turn. Really, really cool cards to play. All right, that's a cool card. All right, now I need I need to draw a spell so I can bring this one one up to a two two. Uh, come on! Oh. Discarded unexpected windfall. That's how you know your hand's broken. Whoa. Kept the land just in case they got an unexpected windfall off the top. Oh, wait. They've already used all four. Lore hold command, of course, because why not? Draw two more cards because Battle of Frost and Fire. Sick. How about a land? Do we like lands or do we like lands? We love lands here in Jametown. We can't build a whole Jametown without drawing lands, okay? Listen, we have miles and miles and acres and acres. Jametown is growing faster than you've ever seen before. It is the largest town in the game. Twenty two lands. Twenty two. I'm not even playing twenty three. I'm not even playing twenty four. I usually play twenty five lands in my mid range decks. This is a twenty two land deck. How does this happen? How? How? Watch, I'm going to top deck like freaking land. You want, you want, you want to see this land? Alright, I'm pouting. I'm going to pout if there's a land on the top. Oh, it just passed. What is this card? You may pay three rather than pay the spell's mana cost. If three was paid, you draw three cards and an opponent creates two treasures and they scry two. If that cost wasn't paid, you draw X cards. So, sorcery speed X equals four. Oh, this card's really good with Velomachus. Because if you pay it without it paying its mana cost, like Velomachus, you didn't pay the three. But you draw X cards so you can just, like, pay a number of X into this? I don't know. I, maybe it's not really good with it. I have no clue. But they just drew four cards. Wow. 
welcoming vampire. Okay, so if this doesn't die immediately, I'm going to get to draw, uh, draw a card. Oh, it didn't die immediately. Whoa. Crazy. Give it Dragon's Fire? They definitely should have killed that. Before my end step. Alright, they just messed up. Please punish them. Punish them! <laughs> Come on! Oh, are you serious? And I'm dead. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Maybe, maybe we, um, like, we haven't drawn any of, like, we haven't drawn Exodus, like, hardly at all. I'll be right back.
I mean, unless I counted my lands wrong, and I'm playing a lot more than I think I am. Yeah, I'm only playing 22. I've never drawn Jadar. I don't know. I, I would think that this deck would would uh, like perform a little bit better than it has been. Like the exercise a little bit worse in this deck because you can't get back your Dar or Kalein. But you can get back I Twitch, Shambling Ghast, um, Welcoming Vampire, and Emberstorm Predator. And then post board, you can get back Graveyard Trespasser. Um, hmm. What did we lose to? Let's double check. We lost to Naya. Oh, yeah, that was the time where we would have won if they didn't, like, draw back-to-back -back reach creatures. We mulliganed to four once as well against Orzov, and we still almost won that. But we lost to card advantage due to Welcoming Vampire and Sorin. Uh, and then we eventually died to Flyers. And then we lost to this that Jeskai deck. But like we haven't even won a game yet. We lost all six games in those three matches. Which is really weird. Last was Mardu. The last match we just played, that was the Velomachus uh, Jeskai deck. Like, Welcoming Vampire is really good with iTwitch, Shambling Gas, Kalein, Jadar, um, other copies of Welcoming Vampire. Um, Exus has two power, which is good with Welcoming Vampire. Yeah, M Mardu is black, red, white, which is what we're playing. So if you just change out the black for blue, you get Jeskai. Um, let's see. What, what, else, what are we missing from this? Maybe we could be. Maybe we should be playing a a couple copies of, of um. A couple copies of Skullport Merchant, maybe. To just like keep the cards flowing. But like welcoming vampire is really good too. Maybe Skullport Merchant's better than Showdown? It's a blocker. Skullport Merchant still gets a draw off of Welcoming Vampire. Good with Bright Oblivion. Kalein into Skullport makes it a 2-5. Maybe we should be playing another Meathook Massacre. Maybe 3 Ecstasy is okay.
Maybe we should be playing more removal spells, more Rite of Oblivions. But then what are we cutting? I guess I could cut this for another right. Let's try this. We are going to win. We are going to win. All right, this this into right is really good, especially on the draw, and we're on the draw. All right, we have all of our mana. This into this into this is really good. All we need to do is not draw lands. Please do not draw lands. Step one completed. Not not a land. All right, Dream Root Cascade. That could mean a turn two mana creature. All right. We're curving out. Okay, this could mean that they have a one mana bounce spell. Field of Ruin. Okay, that means it's just... That means it's not Sultai, and it's not Teamer or anything like that. It probably just Simic. Or Bant or whatever. Alright, that's, that's the mana creature I was talking about. We should probably write of Oblivion that. Or maybe not. Like, us not right of living the Root Crow Creeper means that they could play a a Renin, a Renin 7. We could kill the Renin 7 regardless. is really good. What's up, Nathan? Alright, so they I don't want them to cast a storm the festival, right? So I should probably kill the root coil. Sacrificing shambling gas. And then this will make a treasure, and then I can cast welcoming vampire. And then welcoming vampire will give me a draw off wedding announcement since I only attack with one creature.
Memory delusion response. So maybe they are looking for a fading hope for their creeper. Exotic, thanks for the host. How's it going? How was your stream? Alright, what do they got? What are they thinking about? They can go Root Coil Creeper into 2-drop. They can. Uh, they haven't played a land yet, so maybe they don't have one. They scry to the top with Fading Hope, so I'm inclined to think they do have a land. Because if they didn't have a land and was, were going to miss their land drop, they would have bottomed the card if it was not a land. Chariot. Okay. They topped a card that wasn't a land and missed their land drop. Huh. Interesting. I'm only going to be attacking with one creature here. Because I want to make a creature with wedding announcement. Do they have a way to deal with Predator? Uh, bouncing it with Fading Hopes and stuff. But I, they, have, they also don't have an answer to me going as wide as possible either. Like, I think going tall is worse than going wide. Unless they have some kind of, like, mass bounce spell or something for double blue. Yeah, Cyclone Summoner, they're super far off of that, though. I'd be surprised if they played Cyclone Summoner over a card like Hullbreaker Horror, though. Alright, so this card has haste. It's a 4-7. And I can just sacrifice this random 2-2 to cast this. They could have Jawar Disruption, I guess. If they played Jawar Disruption, they would have played it as a land, so they don't have that. Fading Hope. Yep. I still got value out of that, though. I'm 
Unfortunately, I don't get the draw of welcoming Vampire when this enters the battlefield because of wedding festivity, but it is what it is. Ooh, look at that forest. Maybe they have a Ren and another Fading Hope? Because I believe they die from Hive. They take the three, block this, block this. They don't die, but they go to one. Right? No, they don't. They die, right? They go block, block. They take six. Yeah. They're just Simic Ramp. Trespasser doesn't attack too well against the Chariot. If I'm going wide, those top end cards don't really matter. This isn't the best hand, but at least I can cast um, this plus this on turn two. Okay! My hand was too good for them. They just, they wanted to keep Neverwinter Dryad, and they missed the second land drop. That's what they get for playing 30 lands, they don't draw any lands. When you play 22, you flood out. We won a match, chat! Let's go! Things you love to see, right here. Right here. Welcome to Vampire's another cool card they just didn't give you. Oh no. You'll get it. You'll get it eventually, you know. I believe. I believe. How about one land? Do we like one land? Well, it's going first. Alright, much better.
If I had a one drop, it would have been much better. One drop and then Rite of Oblivion the Small Ring Egg. But now our Rite of Oblivion could get messed up by Fading Hope on their Small Ring Egg or something. The one cool thing we don't have to worry about is that they don't have Divide by Zero. Which is super important to Smoldering Egg. Cinderclasm. Just what I love to see. <laughs> Not really. Are the grinding mid-range decks the only way to consistently rank up? Unless you can find a deck that goes over the top of them. You can, you can, oh no. That's an Ashmouth Dragon. You have to either find a way that can go over the top of them or a way to kill them super quickly. And it's hard to kill them super quickly because of cards like Shambling Gas and all, all the chump blockers and Sauron and stuff. So uh, my, my thing would be try to find a deck that plays like big, huge Champlers, like uh, Gruul. Werewolves could probably be good against uh, a deck like this, or like the grindy mid-range decks in general. Um, has a lot of tramplers, but other than that, like what are our opponents playing? Super big blue decks. All right, Ashmouth is gonna die. We can Deadly Dispute first. We can just we can just write the token and then Deadly Dispute if they go to kill our Skullport. Uh, I think I like disputing first. Does this make another token? And then we just write the token. This is standard. Yo, Garbage Andy, what is up, my friend? You streaming later on today? All right, what do they have? A counter spell, of course, because why not? Didn't see that one coming at all. Oh, that's the pun. I get it. I get it. How about a second gold span? Are we dead or are we dead? We're pretty dead, right? Because they go 8 damage here, and even if we cast Immersion Predator, we still die. So we have to cast Predator and Rite of Oblivion. Through, like, whatever 5 mana cards they have. They have a Leer. Yeah. 
Yikes. Uh, I need, I need Meat Hook, right? Oh my gosh, Meat Hook will be broken. Meat Hook, please, draw it. Draw Meat Hook right now, let's go. Dang it. Oh, Meat Hook would be, oh. So good. I mean, this hall might just kill us anyway. But still. Oh, man, that was gonna be good. Would have been good. But it wasn't. Crap. And that's not good enough. I'm still freaking dead. Yeah, I would have died to the Hall of Storm Giants anyway. It would have been exact lethal, because... I would have gained three life for Meathook Master going to seven. Can you... Uh, are you serious? A third Goldspan? Get out of here. Get out of here. You have to be kidding me. Like, really? Come on. Come on. Give me a freaking break. Give me a freaking break. We were close to massacring the meat, except for we didn't draw it. Man, that would have been so good. And we still would have died. And it still would have been so good. Garbage Andy. Are you jumping in the trash can today or what? Yer. <laughs> what are you doing? Some drafties? Oh, wait, no. Are you playing the sweatsuit thing tonight? It's not called the sweatsuit invitational anymore, right? Double feech. Work been busy? Wait, you, you have an actual job still? You can't live in New York off Twitch money? Oh, you're, you're right about that. I mean, hey, 700 subs is insane. 700 subs is pog champ. Pog slide poggers. That's like, what? 700 times 250 is uh, 350 plus 1750? That's enough for me to live. I'll keep this end. Which taking fifty is trash? Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh, you're what twenty five? What? Where do you? What, what? Where do you live? In the middle of Richville, USA? Dang. Dang. Oh, by the way, Andy, I haven't been to New York since I was, what? 10 years old? 
which in dog years it's like only one so like one and a half but i think that's okay I mean, if you're serious, I'm. I I, I want to get shown around. What am I doing here? They play Jurari. They probably they probably play Jurari. I got I got to get a good scope of the town. You know what I mean? That didn't, that didn't look like a Jirari to me. Manhattan's overrated, the other boroughs... Uh, really? I mean, when, when I went to New York before, like, like half my family's from Long, Long Island. So I went to Long Island, and then we drove like five hours to New York, and we went to Manhattan. But we didn't go anywhere else. No, it was it was uh Comac, Comac and Huntington. Backing with those, decayed trigger. I'm gonna wanna cast Welcoming Vampire, I think, but that thing's gonna die probably, right? I don't want it to die before Jadar makes a token. So maybe I just go wedding? Lots of friends there? Dude. My whole family lives there. Well, half my family. Are right, we gonna get cinderglassed? I'm just starting off by attacking. But dude, Andy, if you're serious, I'll, I'll, let's plan something. Uh-huh. Dude, wait, you didn't mention Magic the Gathering, though. So I don't know. You didn't mention Magic. Weird. Who plays Magic the Gathering anymore nowadays, anyway? Um, Welcoming Vampire does play around Cinderclasm. Doesn't play around 5 damage Sweeper. I think I just go Wedding Announcement, Hapland... I don't, I don't, I want to, like, I don't want this to die immediately. Triggers. At least I'm maintaining more card advantage than I was in previous games, which is really good. It's where we want to be. I'm drawing a nice land land and spell ratio, which is also good. Also something that we couldn't do before. New Orleans has an accent that sounds like a New York accent. I would like to know. I actually, I don't think I've heard it before. Goldspan Dragon gets in for four. Two mana remaining. What do they use that two mana on? Foretelling? No. Okay, I think I leave my flyer up here. And I just do this.
There's a chance they kill my hive. No? I'm still close to killing them. Make it 2-2, two, two, draw two cards. And then, and then I buff everything. So they could technically go like Goldspan Band Dragon, attack with two Goldspans, Alchemist Gambit, and kill me, right? Wait, no. They'd have to attack with two Goldspan Dragons, kill the Eye Twitch, and then Alchemist Gambit. Alright, I didn't say it. I did not say that. Please don't do that. If they do that, it's going to be the actual worst day of my life. Pause champ. All right, I got I got to take the block when I when I get it. Right? Like okay, okay. Humor me here. If I don't block, I have lethal without using Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Mmm. If I do block, I don't have lethal. No blocks. Pause champ. Don't no alchemist gambit me. Egg? They can still alchemist gambit. Oh, please don't cast that. Pause champ. Hold. Hold. This is the perfect time for the clench emote that we don't have yet. Clench. 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 Clench them butt cheeks together. Clench them together. Clench. 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 Suspense? Growing? Suspense? Suspense! Opponent! Do not gambit. Don't gambit. Shatter Skull. Uh, uh. Start from scratch is pretty cool. Oh, that's also true. Uh, am I just discard drawing? Just discard drawing. Alright, so what I can do here is I can... Shambling gas. Vanishing verse.
negate. Oh. That might win in the game. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have cast Shambling Gas first, right? Because then they would have definitely blocked that. But, I can also, I'm probably going to die to a bunch of these, aren't I? Get the dispute. Make a treasure. Soul Shatter. I might still be dead. Because the, neg the negate stopped things from happening. They're saying good game. That's unfortunate. Deluge? That's not necessarily a good game. But if they get any other spell, then it's game. So that that's them telling me they already have the spell. No, oh, Paragon, how's it going? The OG. So they, like, cast whatever spell, deal four damage to my face, hit me for four, and then four again. That's unfortunate. So what I could have done is I could have not cast the Shambling Gas before combat. And maybe they block the 3-3, and then I can kill one of the eggs. But then I but then if I do that, then I didn't have the exact mana that I needed for Soul Shatter anyway. So like then they would just have a gold span. But then I wasn't dead because the Ashmouth Dragon wouldn't be there to deal the last two points of damage. Cause I would be at at 10 instead of dead. Well, I'd be at 10 instead of 12. Well, I was at 12, and if there was a Goldspan Dragon and an Ashmouth instead of uh, two Ashmouths, then they would have done two damage to my face, putting me to 10, and then hit me for eight. And maybe I wasn't dead. On it? Wait. So I guess they did they disconnected? Okay. That was weird. I guess they just took forever to keep their hand. Or 
Or maybe they're just playing on mobile. Okay. If I'm going to sacrifice I Twitch anyway, maybe they forget that their Jaspar Sentinel has reach. Or I could just let it die and then get the get a draw spell, but this I think this is better. Or I could just draw no lands, that works too. So I can go next turn I can go environmental science for a red source. Uh, play red, play Kalane, and play Shambling Gaster Eye Twitch. Oh my goodness, they have the nuts. Okay, so just kidding. I'm gonna have to do, like sacrifice Shambling Gas somehow. Which I don't think is possible. Crap, we can get Goldspan Dragon the next turn. Yikes. I guess I'm going to go Shambling Gas. How's Mardu Sack been? We've been steadily improving it for sure. Alright, 2-2 two, two Shambling Gas. And then if this dies, I can kill the Magda. Even though that we could just get Goldspan Dragon next turn and like, probably die. If you happen to be watching this from YouTube, I have a deck that does exactly this. And... It is the Goldspan Dragon thumbnail. And it's turn three Goldspan Dragon basically wins the game. Was I able to monetize on YouTube? I will tell you an exact number, and I promise you, it's insane. It, like, how close it is. We are 3,884 watch hours out of 4,000. So, 116 away. Which is like a video. So, if you're, if you're watching this from YouTube, I guarantee you want to watch this all the way through so you can help me finally get monetized for the first time after like almost a year and a half. All right, that's a land. We needed that. Can they beat Immersturn Predator? Maybe not. I think I'm just going to go Welcoming Vampire. And I Twitch. Because, like, this blocks the 2-2s two anyway. This plus Klain, uh plus minus one, minus one blocks the Seekers Chariot. We're going to want to draw closer to Meat Hook Massacre, which is why I'm doing this. We can, like, keep drawing cards closer to Meat Hook Massacre, then we, we should be okay. But you're saying go to YouTube and run your vids in the background. That's exactly what I'm saying. Pizza ready? You're so hungry? Yeah, I haven't eaten at all yet today, and it is 4 o'clock p.m. for me. Alright, it's a gold spin. Time to die. It's a red. Okay, also time to die. The good thing about this, if there is a silver lining, is that this is only a 4-4. You feel like a thousand subs is harder than watch hours? Watch hours is harder than subs if you don't make a video. If you make a video, like, only, like, once or twice a week. And they don't, like, blow up in popularity and views. So, at the, at the start of the, like, I don't know, like, like a year ago, I wasn't making videos every day like I am now. But of course, making videos every day, uh, like, shoots up the watch hours pretty fast. But a thousand subs is still super hard. And I worked so freaking hard. 
to put out all these videos. Like, so many hours with zero pay have gone into, like, my YouTube channel, and I'm perfectly okay with it. It's a lot of work. But this is what I want my career to be, so... I mean, it's it's like, do I want it or do I not? You know? Exactly. You got to. Alright, where's that meat hooks at? Alright, so killing the chariot is probably a good priority. We're gonna do this here. And then we get a... You're loving my content, Kaifa. Thank you, I appreciate that. That is not something that I that I hear every day, believe it or not. Alright, so in order to get a meat hook for four, I need if I, and I draw meat hook next turn, I can't meat hook for four, right? I'm gonna have to just do minus one, minus one to the chariot, and then freaking hope. <laughs> I guess. You went there and hit play all on the playlist? That's also a thing you can do. And it just keeps playing through the playlist. Alright, so we can go pest summoning to like keep jump blocking. I don't know if that's good or not, but it's probably what we can do here to buy some time. Which is probably what I'm going to do. I can Kalane into Immersturm, making Immersturm a 4-4 indestructible. I don't know how good that is. I think we just want to go as wide as possible. How do we go as wide as possible? That involves playing pe playing Pest Summoning. So we're going to go like this. Draw a card. Extus. Okay. It means I kind of want to play Pest Summoning with Extus on the battlefield so I can return something to my hand. So what if we just do this, pay with the treasure? And then this and this? Oh, you know what? I could have killed Ren there. Maybe maybe I should have. Wait, no, I couldn't have. The the other thing wasn't was was, was uh, untapped, so I couldn't have. I I don't think people people realize. Like, how much of a crap ton it helps just by clicking the like button. Like, if you click the like, it actually sends it to more people physically. Like, the algorithm physically sends it to more people by just clicking like. I don't. I actually just don't think people realize that. And also, like, watching more of the video. Uh, let's go with... Just Chumpies. I think I just I think I just take the five here actually. That's not that's not a trample yet. Necrotic fumes start from scratch. Mascot. If I draw a land, I can go X this plus Necrotic Fumes plus get back Shambling Gas or another Eye Twitch. I think I'm going for Necrotic Fumes. Was like getting rid of Reckless Storm Seeker still really, really good? That's not a land. I need to cast two spells this turn. Extus does have double strike. Which 
which is pretty good at three. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Extus. Double strike. I don't know where our meat hooks are. <laughs> and then this will draw a card off of Welcoming Vampire. Land? Meat hook? Okay. I think I'm attacking. Because then if they want to block with Jasparsa, I'm okay with that. But I also don't want them to make another tree folk. But this Extus being a three power double striker is pretty good. Although if we do if they if they don't cast a spell and we draw not a land, not an untap land, then we can't double spell. Alright, well, we don't need to double spell anymore. Just pop champ. Opponent. Opponent. Plus one. Oh my gosh, it zeroed and put all the lands in play. That's funny. Luminarch. Sure. If we draw meat hook for turn, we can meat hook for four. That's not a meat hook. Has summoning gets back. I twitch or shambling gas. Probably I twitch. Draw card. Meat hook. Oh my gosh! Finally. So now all we have to do is get rid of the 8-8s? Eight eight
They're playing Brutal Cathar. We can meat hook for three. If we draw a land, we can meat hook for three and then play Eye Twitch to block the 9 9. Brutal. That's a yikes. Crap. Now meat hook's not gonna work. I mean, it's gonna work, but only if we draw an untap land. Please don't keep growing the Stormseeker. Good, just grow a whole bunch of things. Crap. Why do they keep growing the Stormseeker? For nighttime? I mean, Stormseeker can target anything if it's nighttime. Well, it, it's whatever it targets gets trample. So it could grow whatever. Um, I think I just need to go as wide as possible. Can I draw a land? Crap. This is probably not going to work out the way I want it to. A uh, combination of not drawing enough lands here. Um, not drawing a land and them having the showdown to grow the stuff out of range of Meat Hook. We can Meat Hook for four, and an untapped land would be Meat Hook for five. If they grow the Reckless Storm Seeker out of range, we probably still can't win. We need to block with Shambling Gas, draw, make a treasure token, and then also draw an untapped land. That's fine. Just don't grow the other Storm Seeker. And don't grow the 4-5. The Crap, what the heck? Oh my god! Polana! Oh no. Yeah, we definitely can't win now. Oh man. We need, like, a blood in the snow that we're not playing. Yeah, me hook for four doesn't do anything, though. An 8 8 Brutal Cathar.
What if we like, kill the Stormseeker with blocks? No, if I meet him for four, I still die. Alright, is there any way I can get away with not playing Yeet Hook? Probably not, right? If I Meat Hook for 4, everything dies besides the 1010 10 and the 8 8. And then I gain a Bunch of life. Oh, the Stormseeker lives still. Kill Halana first? The, I don't think I could have. I, I was one mana off. I think I'm dead if, if they just go minus Ren, make a thing, and then give it haste. Okay, they have Brutal Cathar too. There, there was no way I could have done that. It was definitely closer than it probably should have been, though, with how many creatures they had and card advantages and stuff. We tried our best, chat. We tried our very best. At least I get to go I Twitch on turn one and two and then Skullport Merchant on turn three and start sacrificing and drawing stuff.
Got a spike build or something? They could have Dragon Spire plus Gold Fan or something too. Alright, I have a lot of lands. Even more lands. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like this. Just so that makes Helana and Elena a lot worse, or like, also the Seekers Chariot makes that worse too. Best draw next turn is a, a one or two drop creature. Then I can draw a card off this. Aha! They did have the Chariot. I would have been dead already if I didn't do that last play. Huh. I'm just gonna do this and then hold a deadly dispute if they try to deal with this. I guess it's a two three flyer. Brutal Cathar. That works too. I don't know why I said nice there. The Seeker's Chariot plus Magda and Brugathar is like really good for them. That means I'm taking four. They make a treasure and I'm taking six. I just need me to again, again, I guess. Okay. Andrew, thanks for the follow. All right, here we go. The only thing about playing that Shambling Gas there is that if I don't draw a spell for turn, then the Brutal Cathar flips and it turns into nighttime. So maybe it was correct for me to not play the Shambling Gas. Oh no. Another one. Man, that deck is really good at putting two power creatures on the board to crew with Chariot.
And even if it comes to the point where I do draw Meat Hook Massacre and cast it, they have Lair of the Hydra and Den and Chariot and Ranger class. I'm tempted just to kill the chariot right now and then hope just hope to draw me hook. I'm just gonna do that. Alright, they didn't kill the shambling gas. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so I didn't kill the chariot because the, they didn't have enough uh, enough power to kill my creatures. But even if we even if we had blocked a different way, we we would be in the same position. So it doesn't really matter. Well, like I guess, I guess if we just took the chariot and then blocked the merchant into like the three two, we could have at least drawn a card and then try to cast a spell. But even if we did that, we still couldn't meet hook, right? One two one two. Our only hope was our only hope was to draw that we would have drawn the land for turn anyway and then we draw a card if that card's not meat hook then we lose but we did lose a draw from what we did Losing is not fun, chat. <laughs> We're trying to make this deck good. Please, deck, just be good. I'm tired of the deck just taking a dump on me today. I'm playing Kalein over Jadar because if this um, card is Fading Hope, then Jadar is much worse than Kalein. Lair of the Hydra. Okay. Strategic planning. Three power, double strike, let's go. Storm Chaser Drake. Whoa. You saw Arna Hushenbeth playing against the deck I'm playing or playing against the deck the opponent's playing? This could be a snakeskin veil. And if that's the case, I want to attack with Kalein and make them use the snakeskin. 
not it's not like it's blocking anyway. You saw him playing against my opponent's deck. Okay, I have no I have no clue what they're playing. But hopefully it's like a snake skin veil that they use just to block the Kalane. I mean, the 3-5 Double Striker is pretty freaking good. Hopefully they don't play this slow for the entire match. <laughs> I knew they had it. I know what they're going to play before they play it. Why they didn't do that to block the lane? I don't know. Afraid of something I could play post-combat, I guess? Might have been the same opponent. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Could they be playing Gerard Disruption? Probably. Do we want to go X equals 2 instead of X equals 3 to play around that? Probably. X equals 2 is in case of another Snakeskin Veil. X equals 3 would be in case of two more Snakeskin Veils. But I think there's a chance that they have a Gerard Disruption over double Snakeskin. Well, that seemed to work out. Predator, Vanishing Verse, Meat Hook, uh, Soul Shatter doesn't target. Uh, graveyard gains life. Mm, probably not good enough. They were so bad in standard. I mean, they didn't. They didn't get to flip it. They just scooped before. They just scooped while they played their one one. It's not awful. I have a, a standard Delver list that was really good. The it was a blue white Delver list on my YouTube. What's my favorite format and colors to play? Hmm. Right now, my favorite format's probably historic and colors to play. Uh, all of them. I know that's a uh, kind of cheap sked answer, but it, all of them equals Niv Misery Reborn. But in general, I like to play Jund or Sultai.
Yeah, we're getting Spell Pierce and Essence Capture back, which is crazy for Tempo Deck. All right, I need to land. Um, imagine Essence Capture and Spell Pierce in the opponent's deck right now. That'll be really good. All right, land. Thank you. Punch, 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 punch. It could have negate. What if there's a sad looking snakeskin veil in their hand, chat? <laughs> really, really sad looking snakeskin. Yep, they had negate. I mean. This is why you watch me on Twitch and YouTube, okay? I give you insight into the opponent's hand. I could have meat hooked there, but I didn't feel like I needed to. We could have another, another negate. They could also have Disdainful Stroke. Alright, now I have an indestructible blocker. Imagine how good Divide by Zero would be in the opponent's deck. Pretty good. I admire the opponent's all-out holographicness of their deck and higher rarities, including the foil lands, but the non-foil consider.
are almost dead. Like, imagine if they had Essence Capture right here. That would be pretty good. Simic Doverlich? That's probably what they're doing. But I'm going a little bit too wide for them. Drawing too many cards with Welcoming Vampire. Strategic planning. Yeah, they're playing strategic planning, so that means they are playing Demi Lich, right? Nice. Just too hot to handle. Just too much value to handle. Did you see they printed a literal Voltron? Oh, can you link it? Dindrizic, thanks for the follow. They're streaming at the same time each day. I usually stream from 10 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern. Right now I'm doing a little bit longer stream since I, I started a little bit late today. 10 to 4 Eastern. Okay, so we go Shambling Gas. This hand's pretty good. I'm going to wait till turn four to play this so I can do this plus sack the gas if I need to. Or sack a token off wedding announcement. Ooh. Sick. Best possible draw. Am I supposed to kill the farmhand? I think I'll kill the farmhand. Because I don't want them to play right of oblivion. Next turn. Good draw. We're attacking with one creature here instead of both of those because I want to make another 1-1. One, one.
Vanishing Burst can't exile this. Alright, I need to make sure I kill this because of Rite of Oblivion too, but I don't know if I can kill that anymore. Unless I draw Shambling Gas for turn. Oh my goodness. I can make them sacrifice it. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, right? Wait, I can go Kalein? That's a waste of a Kalein, though. Wait, if I go Kalein, it's only two mana? I can go eye twitch and then sack the eye twitch. Eye twitch attack. Sack the eye twitch. Exile this? That's not even good, right? I think I'm just going to do this. Gosh, that's so brutal. Well, Alright, if I draw a meat hook, I win? Yeah, if I draw a meat hook, I win the game. That's not a meat hook. If I do that, they have to jump, jump. Around five days ago, I was watching Kunio play against an Alset, and I said, I really hope we get an Alset or Dago reprint, call it Selfless Samurai, or, or <laughs> to go with the theme. And then today, I look at the Mythic Spoiler, and the card's actually real. <laughs> That's funny. I want Vanishing Verse, right? Meat Hook. Soul Shatter is... Good. Against Soren, cut the Kalanes. This hand's good. It's got all my colors. Turn to Jadar. Meet up Massacre.
The Dar plus Welcoming Vampire is really good. Am I supposed to play my Welcoming Vampire here? I think so. Wow. That's surprising. Do I want to make one ones or do I want to... Do I talk with both of these? Or do I make a one one? I think I draw a card? No. I attack with both of these and I meet hook for one. The name of this matchup is Card Advantage, so if we can stop them from drawing cards, we should be in good shape. Like, they would have got a draw off of this Welcoming Vampire there. Off the Eye Twitch Summon. I don't know why I said Summon, but yeah. Maybe they get a mascot off this. All right, maybe there is a meat hook for three. But as long as this vampire's on the board, I'm going to keep drawing a card. Agadines. Woo, that was good. Oh, wow. That was even better. Checking sideboard. Can I sub wedding announcement with Ondo inversion? No, they do completely different things. Well, I wouldn't recommend playing Ondo inversion in this deck anyway because you have meat hooks and wedding announcements and stuff that you want to keep on the board. Edgar. All right, why, why they would play that in the face of Rite of Oblivion, I don't understand. Uh... 
I think I'm gonna sacrifice my meat hook here. Then I'm going to draw two cards. Dean's busted. Confront the pass. That is going to do nothing. Got it. Oh, okay. It makes sense now. It all makes sense now. So I do this and they just confront the pass it back. Not much I can do about that though. Do I, will yes, but I, will. I mean even if even if they do that, I can kill it again anyway, so I'm I'm fine with that. Mascot? I mean, I can even meat hook for... I can meat hook for one here. This goes to three. I attack for two, so that's, that's not good enough. I can Deadly Dispute the Shambling Gas. Killing the 2-1. This goes to two loyalty. And then I can kill it with the Hive. I don't think I want to draw any more cards, so I'm just going to do this. And make one more 2-2. Two -two. Or a 3-3. Three -three. We're going to discard... All these are going to have 3 power, so Welcoming Vampire actually doesn't do much. Besides, be a big flyer, but we already have a big flyer, and we have we have like a a, a four two flyer here as well. No, a four three flyer. So they can they can mascot, then we could just meat hook for four. Or we could just not do that. And just play a bunch of other stuff. We could like shambling gas plus skullport merchant, and then we can sack the sack the shambling gas, draw a card, kill the flyer. Um we could play the shambling gas and the skullport merchant, then attack without doing anything. Uh, and then if they block the four four to the three three, then we can sack the shambling gas, giving the four four minus one minus one draw a card. We can just mascot if we draw land. Um, Oh, 
on it. We, uh, we have reached the stage of the game where the opponent has decided to do no actions and wait for the timer to run out. So, viewers, how are you doing today? You're doing great? We could have an entire conversation right now, but literally I'm talking to myself in front of a camera. I'm looking inside the camera right now. Would you like to talk about how the, the fact that we have seven cards in hand and had to discard the hand size in a mirror match? That's pretty valuable. We gained a lot of value this game. We've drawn a lot of cards. We've made some stuff. We've made some creatures. Uh, I did get a chance to see the Voltron card. I didn't get a chance to read all of it, though, but I looked at the picture. You're playing Is It Dragons just to be contrary in Standard? Well, you can stay contrary without playing against me, because I don't want to play against that deck. Concede. You'll love to see it. I like how this turned out. Might not be perfect yet. We might have to make some more changes or whatever, but I, I do like how this turned out. The welcoming vampire was so good. We drew a lot of cards. Exodus killed our opponent super fast in one of those games. Mingus, how's it going? Performed better since I welcomed the vampire. That is true. All right, Jamers. We've made a few changes to the deck from when we started. As you can see here, we put Welcoming Vampire in the deck instead of Showdown of the Skulls, and it has been performing a lot better. Um, we have a, a more than positive win rate when we, after we put Welcoming Vampire in the deck. This card triggers off of many cards in this deck. Exodus has two power off uh, so it does draw a card off welcoming vampire uh wedding announcement uh spits out creatures that can draw a card off welcoming vampire as well jadar makes the 2-2 and it kills itself with the cade and it can come on the battlefield back on the end step which gives us an extra draw off wedding vamp uh welcoming vampire as you saw in the matches uh that you've already seen it just now Kalane, shambling ass eye twitch they all trigger it the only one that doesn't is immerstone predator but that card's like really 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 good of course uh, there's a lot of draw power in this deck now, and we're never going to run out of resources. So I like where this ended up. Hopefully you try this build, or you can try the other one in the intro, and let me know what you think about both of them. But regardless, anyway, you can check out this video right over here to check out the next one. Hope you like that one as well, and I'll see you over there. And as always, peace. All right, guys. You're good, loving the brew? Same. Same. All right, exclamation point Jamer in the chat. The professional pod champ. Thank you. That's how I, that's how I like to do my videos. Profesh. Profesh. All right. Now we are way over the time where we usually stop streaming. We usually stop at four. It is five eighteen. I'm doing the podcast with Stratterstone for his YouTube channel, so make sure to go, make sure to subscribe to Sodium City on YouTube. Sodium City to check out my podcast episode, and I'll be posting it on my Twitter as well. So if you have a Twitter, you can type in exclamation point Twitter in chat, follow me on there, and then I will be posting the podcast episode there as well whenever it goes live on YouTube, on his YouTube. So make sure to keep to keep that in mind if you would like to watch it i don't know what we're going to be talking about so he's just going to ask me questions and we're going to you know talk and have fun whatever we want to do on the podcast so anyways now let's go ahead and go over oh my gosh day nine's playing master duel whoa day nine playing master duel hello 
Now that, now that is something. Now that is definitely something. All right, let's go ahead and go over to MTG Nerd Girl. It's been a while since I've rated her. And also, DGen Gaming Master, MTG Nerd Girl. So make sure to type an exclamation point DGen in this chat to follow all the DGen Gaming creators. We're going to go over to the DGen leader herself, MTG Nerd Girl. I'll see you over there. And as always, Goose Gang, out. See you tomorrow. Let's go!